all my deck boards are too close together. If all the decking boards are too close together on your deck, it's doomed to failure. We offer the saw guide for the circular saw, also known as the skill saw. It fits all right and left hand circular saws and it's easy to install. Disconnect the power cord before mounting the saw guide. Clean the saw base of all foreign debris. Before mounting the saw guide, you have to back out the thumb screw until the clamp has clearance for the edge of the saw base to be fully inserted into the clamp. Match up the opening on the saw guide with the saw base and align the saw guide tabs pressing them tightly against the edge of the saw base. You may have to adjust it slightly forward or back to make sure that it does not rest on a rib or an uneven surface. You want the screw to clamp on a flat area to securely hold the saw guide to the saw base. Tighten down the thumb screw, checking that the saw guide is firmly attached to the saw base and it's critical that the front and rear side tabs are tightly flush with the side of the saw base and that there's no side to side play. For safe operation when attaching the saw guide it's very important to make sure that the back of the saw guide still has clearance so that the blade guard will rotate freely. To align the saw base with the saw guide fins the blade guard needs to be held back so that the blade is exposed so you can do a proper alignment. A handy method for holding back the guard is to use the power cord as a wedge. This also makes a handy reminder to release the guard before plugging in the power cord. Place the saw upside down in a stable horizontal position. Super glue bonds to skin on contact, so you may want to use vinyl or latex gloves for application of the adhesive and follow the manufacturer's directions if glue does contact skin. Lift the edge of the saw guide up slightly and apply a dime sized drop of super glue to the base of the saw. Now press down and hold or clamp down the edge of the saw guide until the glue cures. Next, the ends of the saw blade must line up with the guide fins in a straight line. You can use a ruler, but it's possible to get an offset from the angle between the alternating directions of the saw teeth. A much easier way is to use a straight piece of wood, firmly pressed but not too hard against the side of the saw blade, and then marking the ends with a pencil. Then to make sure that those are lined up properly, put the wood on the other side of the blade and make two more pencil marks. Now, apply a dime sized drop of super glue where the pencil mark is. Line up the guide fin with that pencil mark and press the guide fin firmly into the adhesive. Do the same process on the other end, firmly pressing the guide fin down into the adhesive. Follow up with a straight edge check for accurate guide fin placement. Allow time for the adhesive to fully cure before continuing on. You want to make sure those guide fins are very secure. Before using the saw guide, you need to measure and set the saw blade to the required depth. Using a card or a piece of paper as a depth gauge, place it on top of the floor joist in between the decking and make a mark on the side. Measure the length from the paper and subtract a sixteenth of an inch and set the saw depth to that measurement. An alternate method is to set the depth by setting the saw down on the end of the decking and raise the blade till the bottom edge of the blade just clears the bottom of the decking. If the blade is set too deep, it'll damage your floor joist. Now release the guard and check that it rotates freely. Always wear your eye and hearing protection before operating the saw. Lower the saw blade in between the decking. Make sure that the front and the back guide fins are also in the groove. Run the saw forward, lightly touching one side and then check for clearance. If the space is too narrow, make a second pass on the other side. 
In some cases, you may have to make more passes using this same process. The saw guide makes it easy to straighten the ends of mismatched boards. Start with the saw lightly touching the narrow side pushing toward the board that needs to be trimmed flush. The saw guide makes quick work cleaning out dirt, leaves, and pine needles from between the decking boards. It only takes a light touch along both sides of the space to clean it down to the wood. A note about the types of saw blades to use on your decking project. Large tooth blades are for fast cutting and rough work, whereas small, fine tooth blades are for smooth finishing work. We suggest using the small, finer tooth blades for a smoother finished result. To remove the saw guide from your saw, first loosen the thumb screw a little. Now use a putty knife starting at the edge of the saw guide and push it toward the spot that's glued down. It may take a little bit of force to break that bond. Once the bond is broken, go ahead and remove the saw guide. After the two are separated, you can use the putty knife to remove any adhesive residue.